FM. Radio has never been better. What is up? How you doing? This is the movie show. On your favorite ORSPS. My name is Ash. And you all know me? No. Ryan. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, hi, Ryan. <laughs> hi, Sash. How are you? Uh, I'm good. That's, that's brilliant. So we are going to be continuing with our top 10 films of all time today. Yes. We've already done, the first one was IMDb. Then we looked at varieties. Yep. And now this week we are going to be looking at Rolling Stones top 10 films of all time. Yes. Yeah. Um, Variety's list was very different to IMDb's. There were, I think, two films that... Yes. That uh, were on both. Similar. Yeah. But uh, Variety had a lot older films on its list. IMDb I was also actually wondering if they are just a more of a sort of more into the old. Although, uh, you know, I find, I find older movies seem to be quite popular amongst a lot of more film. Yeah. Like film fans, not yeah. whatever, you know. Like people who are in the industry. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so we're going to look at Rolling Stones. We'll see if we have any more films that yes. have like made it to another top 10 mm. list. Rolling Stones, or top if, 10 films of all time. Or if Rolling Stone was just like, no, you guys have missed the boat here completely. <laughs> These are the top 10 films. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But before we get into that. Ah, before. I've, I've got some trivia questions. What would the movie show be without trivia, trivia questions? Trivia and some multiple choice just to give your brain some options, so some direction. There we go. Kind of, because, you know... Okay. You, you could go separate, four different. Separate. How many? How many options are there? Let's, four. Yeah, four. Four. You could go as four different I, ways. Yeah. Yes. 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 We can. We can stop at any time. I've got fifteen. All right. So if you've had enough, just yell stop. <laughs> <laughs> when your brain's fried, just like no. Uh, I, I, I was actually tempted to get a timer. You yeah. could do a timer. You have ten seconds per each question. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. No, it's fine. Okay. I won't put you through that. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. And if uh, if only we could do this live, then our viewers could also be like, da, 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 it's da, 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 you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you can count your score and like let us know how much you got. There you go. Mm -hmm. Good one. Yeah. Good one. All right. Here we go. First one. Who actually drew the sketch of Rose in the Titanic? Was it A, Leonardo DiCaprio, B, Billy Zane, C, James Cameron, or D, Kathy? Uh, Kathy Bates. I feel like it was James Cameron. I'm ding, 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 ding. I, I'm right, right? Correct. I felt like I'd heard that somewhere. Number two, who voiced Joy in Pixar's Inside Out? Was it A, Tina Fey, B, Catherine Hahn, C, Ellen Mc... McGillis. McGillis. Maybe that is... There's no L there. Oh. And D, Amy Pula. I have no idea. What was you, the first one? You probably don't... Uh, Tina Fey. What was the second one? Catherine Hahn. I want to go. With, I don't think it was Tina Fey. Mm. Ellen DeGeneres. I'm just gonna say B. Oh, Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, yes. wait, wait. Let me. Um, was that her? Or D did she sound like Dory? Amy Pula. I'm gonna go with B. I feel like it's wrong. Uh, Amy Pula. Oh, it was C. D. Oh, was it D? Shame we should. Ah, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> okay, I got one. I've got one so far. <laughs> All right. Number three. Where were the Lord of the Rings movies filmed? Was it A, Iceland, B, Ireland, or uh, C, New Zealand, New Zealand, or D, Australia? New Zealand. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> All right. Number four. Which famous Pulp Fiction scene was filmed backwards? Vincent and Mia's dance scene, Mia's overdose scene, the Royal the, the royal with cheese scene, uh, the Ezekiel 2517 scene. It was the, the overdose scene because they had to, instead of stabbing her, he pulled it out. Bing, 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 <laughs> bing. So think about that. When they filmed it, they, Smart, filmed, right? it, they filmed it like... That shot was so good though. I remember that shot. Like watching it and be like... Oh my goodness! So, so they really did. They really did have a needle in the scene. <laughs> there you go. Number five, which is not the name of a child selected to tour the Wonky Factory in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? A. Billy Warp. B. Vera Casalt. C. Mike. TV. <laughs> the way it's spelled, not TV. T T. Is it T E E? T V T E A, as in T, oh. and then V. <laughs> or D. Charlie Bucket. So, Billy Warp, Verica Salt, she was. Mike TV, or Charlie Bucket. A Charlie Bucket? Yeah. Was his surname Bucket? B believe it or not. No, I feel like he's... <laughs> Which is not the child. What's the first one? Spell it. Billy Warp. 
WOP. Yeah. I feel like he was the fat kid, but I'm just going to say him. Billy Wop. Oh, yay! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Okay, Freddy Krueger wears a striped sweater that is which colors? A, red and blue. B, orange and green. C, red and green. Or D, orange and brown. It's either red and green or red and blue. Mm. I'm going to go with red and green. Bing, 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 bing. Green and green. Yes. <laughs> All right, number seven. Who did the cat in the classic movie The Godfather belong to? <laughs> A. Francis Ford Coppola. B. Diana Keaton. C. Al Capuchino. Uh, Al Pacino. Al Pacino, not Cappuccino. My goodness. <laughs> D. No one. No one. The cat was astray. I feel like that's the answer. I'm gonna say Al Pacino because I don't know. No one. The cat was astray. Oh, I'm serious. And you've never watched what? it. No. So I that was kind of like a, a guess for you. That hey? was a guess. All right. Number eight. What was the top grossing movie of 2014? Is it A, The Hunger Games, Mocking pa- uh, Mockingjay Part 1? Is it B, The Lego Movie? C, Captain America, The Winter Soldier? Or D, Guardians of the Galaxy? Go- no, I'm not going to. I just. I would like to say Guardians. I'm going to say Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1. You should have said Guardians of the Galaxy. What's the Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh my, you see, Guardians of the Galaxy is just epic. Top grossing film for 2014. That's impressive, man. Mm. Number volume, nine. Volume 1. Uh, doesn't say. Doesn't say. I think it was Volume 1. Number 9. Which item is in, the, is in every fight club scene? A, Coca-Cola can. B, a Starbucks cup. C, a Dunkin' Donut or D, a Pepsi bottle? A Starbucks cup. Yes. <laughs> was that a guess or was... No, I remember You the, remember I, that? I, I, yeah. I don't remember seeing that. That's crazy. I think I've read about it. Oh. I, follow, follow trivia sites on Instagram, people. You will look smarter than you are. Learn a lot. <laughs> yeah. Follow like the movie show. Yes. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Number 10. Which movie is this quote from? Here's looking at you, kid. Is it A, Breakfast at Tiffany's? B, Citizen Kane? C... Uh, Casablanca D Notorious Say this the quote again Here's looking at you kid you, you, You've heard it somewhere I don't you? know You've heard it somewhere <laughs> I'm but gonna you... go with Citizen Kane It's wrong Casablanca Damn it Question 11 Which movie is this quote from? What's in the box? Is it Speed? Reservoir Dogs? The Boondock Saints? Or Seven? I'm going to say seven. You're going to go for seven. Seven is correct. Yeah. Seven. Even though I haven't watched seven. Seven heaven. <laughs> need, no. You know what seven's about? I need to watch it actually. It's with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. It's about a, a, a serial killer that kills with the seven deadly sins. Hence the name seven. Okay. <laughs> let's, move on to, let's move on to 12 then. What object was Toy Story's Woody originally? What? What sto- What object was okay. Toy Story's Woody? Woody. As in the, the toy Originally, Woody. yeah. Okay. Is it A, ventriloquist dummy? B, a puppet? C, a clown doll? Or D, a nesting doll? Quite interesting. That yeah. is very interesting. Mm. I have no idea. Because mm. this, this is like... Wait, let's go. In fact, I'm sure it was in the last Toy Story. You, you see... I want to say puppet. Ventriloquist dummy. Ah, I wanted to go with vent. That's very interesting though. That is very, very interesting. All right. 13 out of 15. Here we go. Which professional athlete was considered for the lead in the Terminator? Wow. Dan Marino, Mike Tyson, OJ Simpson, or Wayne Kretzky? Thank goodness you didn't say Dwayne Johnson. Which professional athlete was considered for the lead role? I want to say Mike Tyson. OJ Simpson. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. Did he? Was he not because of the whole the whole case? Who knows? That's very. That's interesting. pretty crazy. That yeah. is very crazy. <laughs> wow. All right, here we go. Second last one. How old was the voice actress of Monster Inc.'s Boo at the time of production? Was it A two and a half, B four, C six, or D eight years old? I'm gonna say two and a half. You are correct. Two and a half. Who's counting, by the way? I, I, I was actually <laughs> thinking about that. Okay. Like, what about what? <laughs> All right, here we go. If you get this, if you get this last one, you get the fridge and freezer set. 
<laughs> okay, which Star Wars character oh, ap- no. appear in Indiana Jones? Is it R two D two? You know that and C three PO. Is it B Luke Skywalker and Princess uh, Leia. Leia? Is it C Yoda and Obi Wan Kenobi? Who's Obi Wan Kenobi again? Obi Wan Kenobi is is the guy. Uh, Obi Wan Kenobi is basically. Um, Yo, let me think about the whole. Tr- tr- <laughs> so, how do you explain him? <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi. I could just search a picture. Just, of him. just Goog- j- just Google him in there. I'm sure. Yes, Obi Wan. Ken- it's that guy. It's it's the guy, man. Oh, okay. I haven't watched Star Wars. I need to watch Star Wars. Mm. Okay, yeah, him mm. or mm. or D Han Solo and Chewbacca. I'm gonna go with the first. Which that is? was in Indiana Jones. Yes. Because um, what's his name was already in Indiana Jones. Harrison Ford mm-hmm. was already in Indiana Jones. So Han Solo couldn't have been in Indiana Jones because otherwise, you know, he would have it been would there be twice. Indiana so gonna, Jones and Indiana Jones. And the, yeah. I'm going to mm-hmm. go with the, the two robots. R2-D2, you're correct. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I didn't do too badly considering. I don't think so. Considering. Trivia is yeah. hard. Sometimes mm. you're like. What? But yeah. Mm. Anyway, so if you if you if you didn't do well at those questions, you probably just need to go and follow the right Instagram pages because, like, yeah, correct. That they or just pay attention in or, or just watch like all movies. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we are doing the top ten films of all time, Rolling Stones list, and the reason we've been doing this is actually to check like, have we seen the greatest movies ever made? Mm. And we actually have a list of films from these top 10 um, lists that we're going to go and watch. But starting with number 10, this has not made it on a list. It was, I think, number 11 of IMDb. But I do think this film should be in the top 10 greatest films of all time. It is Forrest Gump. Mm. I remember watching Forrest Gump. Wasn't Forrest Gump like 11 or 12 on Uh, on IMDb's list? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad it made it to Mm. to top 10 because this film, honestly, I watched it um, fairly recently. I think I might might have watched it either last year or the year before. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like it was a, it was a brilliant film. It was, it's something I've never seen before, but at the same time, it's classic and iconic and the references and even the CG. The reference. The references. Run, Forrest, run. Yes. And then even them like placing him in historical footage. That's right. Like it was crazy. It was yeah. insane. So Steven Forrest, Spielberg. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Steven Spielberg did a very good mm. job with, um, with mm. Forrest Gump. So yeah. I agree. Number nine. Back to the Future. This is a first. You you have to watch Back to the Future, guys. Yes, and this does actually have to be on the it's top ten. It's a great list. film. It is a great film. Mm. This film was iconic, it really, and it's still yeah. iconic to this day. Like it really. In is. the holidays, I watched all three of them. And. Yeah, great. I actually loved it, do enjoyed a, it. A Back to the In fact, me, 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 and my seven-year-old son, we watched it together, and we were very emotionally yeah. involved. It was great. I remember watching Back to the mm. Future when I was very young, mm. and we went to friends' house, um, fr- uh, friends' house, and they put it on, and I was just like, "This movie is so cool!" Yeah. So if you have a kid, you need to show them Back to the Future. Good eighties reference, lo- a lot Re- of eighties stuff. Yeah, yeah brilliant, brilliant. Mm. In fact, they I just saw recently they're actually making a documentary on Michael J. Fox, yeah. who is the main character in Back to the Future, but. He He's gotten, is it Parkinson's disease? There's some disease that he's now got. You can't speak properly, yes, isn't it? Yes, but they're actually making a documentary on him. And I'm actually very interested. I think it's an mm. Apple original. I, I stand to be corrected, but I think it's an Apple original. Mm. And I'm very interested to watch it. Did you ever watch um, uh, uh, Two and a Half Men? I haven't. Uh, he, he was originally in Two and a Half Men as Charlie. Oh, and then, serious? and then eventually he was replaced. Replaced. Yes. That's take two. Yeah. Sure. All right, number eight. I have heard about this film. I have not watched this film. This is actually quite an old film. And probably some references. Yeah, I think there's lots of references that mm. actually come from this film. It is Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. It's an old American film. It's in color, so in it's color. not like it's not like that old. Well, we've learned that there's no excuse for for, for yeah. black and white films. Yeah, the fact that films were in black unless and white you're for beyond so long. The, uh, the, the like in the eighties. Yeah, no, that mm. yeah, but um, yeah, I actually haven't. They say that they don't make films quite like Gone Like the Wind anymore. Once the highest earning film ever made. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. So. A Titanic overtook this film. Mm. And then an epic tale combined the backdrop of the American Civil War to tell a dramatic story about an in ill-fated, sorry, and messy romance. 
That's why it was so popular because it's a romance film. I, I can hear the classic <laughs> music already. Yeah, like the picture alone like gives hectic romance vibes. <laughs> yeah. Number seven. Number seven. Star Wars. I feel like is this is that the first? Five? Is this that five? is five. Yes, v? the Empire yes. Strikes. Is yes. this the first time Star Wars yes. has made it onto the top ten? Or was another... St- no, I think they did make it. Did IMDb have a Star Wars? I don't, I think, think, it, I don't think it was IMDb. Was it Variety? I, I, I suspect so. I have a suspicion, but just a suspicion. Go watch that, the, 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 the yes, the Variety show that we did. Yeah, go to check. To find out. We can't remember. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Empire Strikes Back. Well, it's about damn time. <laughs> Star Wars. And it's episode five. There were six episodes made. Yes. Uh, and this wa- yeah. was, was, but one wasn't made first, right? Didn't they go back? One, two, and three weren't made first. It was three, four, and five. So they st- you, you started from four. Pa! In the middle oh, you started of. started from four? Yeah. Wow. Yes, four, five, and six. So this was the second. This was basically the second one. Wow. Correct. 100%. So this is kind of like, um, you mm-hmm. know, the Batman, Christopher, Christopher Nolan's Batman series, where exactly. the, the middle film was always the best. Exactly. Kind of giving us those vibes. Great film. You must go watch. You can watch from four. Or you can watch from The Phantom Menace, which was the first one, and, then and just work your way chronico- all the way through. Chronological order, yeah. Uh, yeah, great, just to understand and get in I touch. I personally, though, would watch it in the order they were made. That's just personal preference. You can. Yeah. You actually, In fact, uh, to be honest with you, I remember watching 4, 5, and 6, and then going back and, and watching, watching from the first one. You're like, oh, look, oh, there's, ah, look at little skull. And then you like, <laughs> it, literally, it's like, yeah. oh, wow. You it's know, proper, yeah. Kind of thing, so, yeah. Next up, number six, another Steven Spielberg. So he has made it twice onto Rolling Stones top mm-hmm. ten is Jaws. Yeah. How can Jaws actually not be on a top ten list? Like everyone knows the Jaws. Mm. Like even if you haven't watched Jaws, played you know, it yesterday. Oh, serious? Yeah, on the piano. <laughs> wow. You see? If you see people mm. who don't even know how to play it on We had some good trivia with, with with the music and that as well in one of yeah. our music shows. Yeah, mm. definitely. Okay, the next the next film. Yeah. This one I think has made it on all three top ten number fo- five. Top 10 lists. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. I think Pulp Fiction goes down as like one of the greatest from a film perspective. One of the greatest films in film history. Yeah. Like it's it it really it's Quentin Tarantino mm. did the most in Pulp Fiction, man. Definitely. But it's still not one of my favorite of his. No. But it made it. No, we have to go back. However, two. this one really has been on yeah. all three lists. And now mm. number four has also been on all three lists. That's it's right. the Godfather. So we have to go watch the Godfather. Yeah, the Godfather is really a must. Yeah. We have to go and watch the Godfather. Yeah. We learned today who the cat belonged to. There we go. It was a stray. This, uh, it was a stray. Nobody. <laughs> Shockingly enough. Yeah, I'm not sure in the real film industry, but yes. In the, <laughs> in the movie, you know, plot. All right. And then number three, again, Star Wars. And this would be episode number four. Is that four? That is four. So that's four. One and a V. Wait. Oh, right, so the 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 the, <laughs> the, the first hope. one made it bigger than the. Look, I suppose Star Wars mm. would have been like, especially the first one. It would have been yeah. a very iconic and you know new for its time. It, and it, it was. It, it, wa- it yeah. was a shocker. People were watching because of the whole space battle. This was like like CG. Yeah, uh, like no one had ever yeah. made a film like this before. Exactly. So that's that's the first one you want to. Yeah. You almost want to pull off the Christopher Nolan vibes, you know, watching four, five, six, and then going back, back and you know, the whole time thing. Maybe we should do like a Star Wars yes, yes. jump onto a... Yeah. Who directed Star Wars again? Uh, Lucas. Lucas, Sky- Lucas Skywalker. Lucas, wow. Lucas, Lucas. George Lucas. George Lucas, yes. What other films did he do? Or has he mainly he, been doing he, like he might have, Star Wars? He might have done a number of... Not that, not that I know of. But like pre as i'm sure he would have done stuff pre star wars always like, like his whole life just been because i know like even the production company for uh, all the star wars films is lucas films so <sighs> star wars star wars star wars and um, he also did star wars oh, okay he did raiders of the lost ark in 1981 oh wow really yep so Red. he's worked with steven spielberg 1981 he does he works he does work uh, both them together star wars and then also Star Wars, and also mm. Star Wars, plus Star Wars, <laughs> and then also American Graffiti, 1973. Wow, we should go watch American <laughs> Graffiti just for the fun of it. Uh, I was thinking you were going to say, let's go watch Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, next up at number two. Number two. We have Titanic. Yeah. It's James Cameron. I think that was the last film I watched at a, at, at a, um, at a, not a movie house, a, a you know, when you park the cars, what, what do you oh, call really? that again? A, uh, drive through drive through wow. That was probably the last film I watched at a drive through Serious? I don't know about, uh, like, here in South Africa, drive throughs 
Yeah, unfortunately. There might be one or two up somewhere. But, but not... we don't do drive throughs anymore. Yeah. Uh, do you guys do drive throughs still? Comment below. That's very cool, though. That's yeah. a very cool memory. I Comment thought you were going to say in cinemas. I was like, I Ryan, this movie came out this. so long ago. What's in it? Yeah, no, but Titanic, I suppose, was... Mm. was yeah. Was Titanic on any of the other lists? I don't remember it. Nope. It wasn't, right? No, this is the first time. So this is the first... Yeah. yeah. At least we know who painted Rose. There we go. It was James Cameron himself, maybe. Yeah. Don't go Google the painting. <laughs> I don't recommend that strongly. And don't go Google it now because I said don't go Google it. There we go. <laughs> Just don't go Google <laughs> Just it. Just don't do it. Let's move on. Number move one, on. Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. This was great also film. number one of IMDb. Yes, great director so as well. second time now. I think, was it on Varieties? I can't remember it being on Varieties. I don't remember it being on Varieties. I would be lying Psycho if I Psycho was anything. number one on Varieties. I remember Crazy, that. Crazy, yeah? Yeah. Cheep, but cheep, The Shawshank cheep. Redemption is a brilliant film. If mm. you haven't watched this film, you need to actually go and watch this film. It was such a good film. I think it was on another list. It was, on, it was on IMDb. Remember, we still spoke about the fact that we, we had done an event yes, yeah. around yes. uh, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. So this was in... Um, it was IMDb's number one yes. as well. Number one. So it's the second time that Shawshank Redemption has made it to number one hmm. of the top ten films of all time. And apparently even Nelson Mandela said he loved it. Look, it was a brilliant film, eh? Yeah. It was a very good film. Like, from start to finish. Like, as it started, you were, like, hooked yeah. to the end. And it, it was good. It was, it was a... Mm. It, it, yeah, it was, it was a good, good watch. Very good film. Very good watch. I actually think I, I might even go watch it again. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to watch The Godfather. Definitely The Godfather. And we said... We've watched Forrest Gump. Any of those like old, old, old movies? The, the only one that was old... Oh, we said we would do Citizen Kane and 12 Angry Men. We have I feel to like watch those Citi two. Those yes. were on... They were between um, Variety and IMDb mm. and also 2001 A Space Odyssey. We have to watch that as well. Because I think that was made just before Star Wars. It wasn't made in 2001. Yeah, but that's right. It was right. called 2001. Yeah. So I think... I, I, that film I've been wanting to watch. Just haven't gotten to it, you know. So do we do that next week or? <laughs> we could. Or we could just look at another top uh, 10. Maybe do our last top uh, 10. Then decide. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. What is the greatest film? That's a very tough choice though. The greatest yeah. film of all time. That's like very hectic. Uh, so guys, you want to keep an eye on the movie show? Because uh, hey, you never know what the movie show is going to be about. Talking about an old film. Like Gone with the Wind or, you know, The God, The Godfather. The yes. Godfather. Yeah. But until next week, you'll never know. So make sure you tune in next week. But for mm -hmm. this week, this is us signing out. Tuning out. Peace. Cheers.